Hello guys, sorry to like it is. In this video, I'm going to talk about the fraudulent economic policies of the Libertarian Party and the far right, known as supply side economics, where the theory is you give all the tax cuts to the rich and they're going to use that money to invest and create jobs and that in turn results in higher wages for everyone else. But trickle-down economics does not work because tax cuts do not correlate with job creation. You can give a corporation all the tax cuts in the world, but if there is no increase in customer demand, they're not going to create jobs with those tax cuts. The only correlation uh, that exists for job growth is consumer demand and, and job growth. Businesses only hire people to keep up with excess demand. So you give people more money to spend, more disposable income, that's going to result in higher sales, that's going to generate more sales, and when you generate more sales and when demand is high, that is when businesses step in and create jobs. If demand is at zero, if, if, if it is unchanged and businesses are given tax cuts, then they're not going to hire someone to sit around and do nothing. They're only going to hire someone if there's an increase in demand. So let's give the poor, let's give the middle class all the tax breaks, let's give the workers higher wages in America. Let, let's all benefit because the wealthy will always invest in America as long as people have money to spend. The stock market always does well when people have money to spend. The general economic policies of the Democratic Party has done better than the Republicans. The average uh, annualized GDP growth is only 2.5% for Republicans, a little over 4% for the Democrats. And Donald Trump even said that the economy has done better under the Democrats. Now they say, oh, we got to have no taxes for capital gains. If you tax capital gains, that's going to discourage investment but that's not true because people only invest to make money and people will invest as long as consumer demand is high and this is what Warren Buffett said I didn't refuse nor did others I've worked with investors for 60 years and I've yet to see anyone not even when capital gains rates were at 39 percent shy away from a sensible investment because of the tax rate of potential gain People invest to make money, and potential taxes have never scared them off. And to those who argue that higher rates hurt job creation, I would note that a net of nearly 40 million jobs were added between 1980 and 2000. You know what's happened since then? Lower tax rates and far lower job creation. There's lower uh, job creation because of 3%. Uh, increase in wages for workers during the Ronald Reagan era. All the benefits went to the rich. Just what exactly is Warren Buffett saying with tax rates and job creation? Well, Warren Buffett correctly stated that we've had the highest economic growth in the 60s with high government spending. Income tax rates were at 90% and we had high growth back then. In the 50s and the 60s, it was at 3-4%, and ever since the low tax rates of the 1980s and the Bush tax cuts in the 2000s, we've seen really low GDP growth, and we've seen G G GDP growth at around 1-2% over the last decade. It's because more and more wealth is being concentrated in the hands of the top 1%. The poor have a higher uh, propensity to spend their income than the rich. The rich have a higher propensity to save because they don't need that money like the poor person does. A poor person's going to have to spend it on necessities or other expenditures. That's not what's going to happen with the wealthy. When given the tax cut, it's going to sit in the bank for corporations. It's going to go straight to shareholders and dividends and whatnot, straight to retained earnings. Trickle-down economics is a fraud. It is only designed to concentrate more wealth in the top 1%. It has never been about job creation. It is. It is a. It has been about redistrib redistributing wealth from the bottom 90% to the top 1%.
Remember that. Now, Ronald Reagan, the trickle-down economic proponents say that, oh, we've had an increase in government revenue. Well, if how come, how come our debt tripled under Reagan when, oh, tax cuts result in increased revenues? Well, it didn't happen. If that were true, then the debt wouldn't have tripled under Reagan. If these tax cuts paid for itself like the Republicans are saying, like the trickle-down proponents are saying, then we should the national debt shouldn't have been at three trillion after the end of his presidency the debt sh shouldn't have tripled the republicans didn't cut any anything else and we did not increase revenues under ronald reagan in fact we went straight into a recession after the 1981 tax cuts the economy did not rebound until ronald reagan increased taxes he had the largest tax uh, increase in peacetime in the history of America. He raised taxes on Social Security. He got rid of certain deductions for the middle class during the last part of his presidency. Ronald Reagan's economic policies even hurt George H.W. Bush. And the IMF even says that reducing income inequality boosts economic growth Simply, when you give the middle class more money, they're going to spend the money. The rich hoard their money. This is what the IMF has, has found about this. And even Warren Buffett says that he pays a lower rate than his secretaries. The mega rich pay income taxes at a rate of 15% on almost all of their income. It's a different story for the middle class. They put, they fall into 15%, 25%. So the top 1% are not paying their fair share of wealth like they're saying. They're keeping their money in offshore accounts overseas. The general economic policies of the Democrats is proving to be better than the Republicans. Now, the Democrats today, they've, they've gone even more corporate ever since the 1990s the democratic party is a shill of its former self but the republicans are still overall worse the republicans don't care either way while the democrats tend to be backstabbers so republicans 24 million jobs democrats 42 million jobs that's close to double a uh, job creation in ter uh, for for the democrats And even this business owner, she says that I am not going to create jobs with a tax cut. It doesn't work that way. Business owners like me create more jobs. We need more employees to meet the demand for the goods and services. And we deduct employee costs from our taxable income. So demand is the key to job creation, not tax cuts. Even the business owners say this. And the libertarian economic and all the Koch brother proponent shills are telling you that, oh, let's cut corporate taxes to zero and we're going to create all these jobs. Well, it's more money in their pockets. Of course they want that. It's pure greed on their behalf. Trickle-down economics does not work. Stagnant wages, more and more wealth for the top 1%. The Libertarian Party works for the Koch brothers. The Koch brothers want to amass as much political wealth in political and economic power as they can so they sustain generations long power just like the Rockefeller and the Rothschild families we urge the repeal of campaign finance laws no Medicare no Medicaid to ensure that all citizen citizens basic health needs are satisfied deregulation of the medical insurance industry the same companies that have written the Affordable Care Act we will polls Social Security. We want to get rid of the EPA and the Department of Energy so we can do anything we want. And to abolish the FDA, the Federal Aviation Administration, so we businesses can do whatever we want. Now, it's true that people with business ties end up being uh, administrators and heads of some of these bureaucracies. And that's where corporate agents come into play, where corporate agents run these uh, bureaucracy sometimes and they end up favoring their businesses but trickle-down economics is a fraud by the numbers in the Freemasons and the Zionists that control America 
the Libertarian parties of Shell Party, Libertarian Party, and their tax cuts for the wealthy, which does not work, more income inequality, it does not create more jobs, it is pure corporate propaganda on their behalf that they'll create jobs and more tax breaks for corporations and the wealthy. All these equal 96, the Freemasons, know that trickle-down economics doesn't work, but their fellow Masons that run the corporations, that run the media, they all want to get richer. Simple as that. And what also equals 96 is regressive taxes, right? Sales taxes. The poor spend a higher percentage of their income on sales. The rich do not spend their money on sales. So a national sales tax, national sales taxes would also, would increase wealth inequality in America. This is what the wealthy want, so they pay little, if any, of their income, since they don't spend any of it. Regressive taxes, the grand master plan, all equals that 96. Pure corporate propaganda, the libertarian party's economic beliefs, as well as no corporate taxes, 74 is God number in Gematria, G-D, Masonic and Occult equals 74. The libertarian platform is centered on business propaganda that oh, overregulation is the problem. Blah, 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 blah. But these corporations are making more than ever right now. Their profit margins are higher than ever before. See, when you sit on a hundred billion dollars in retained earnings like Apple does, then you shouldn't be bitching and crying about a tax cut because you have plenty of money to invest. Big business propaganda, libertarian platform equals ninety-three. It's the man that creates jobs, the supply side, coldest, don't realize that. Now, abolishing the IRS and income taxes distributes wealth towards the top 1%. Because a flat tax, okay, puts more burden on working people. Okay, my ability to pay ins uh, insurance is far harder than someone making a million dollars. And you tax me at... 25% in that same corporation, 25%, then, well, that 25%, that 75%, that 25% that I'm taxed at is far different than, let's say, a corporation that brings home $20 million or something like that. Regressive tax and abolish the IRS equals 64. If you abolish the IRX, IRS, we just have more sales taxes, we're spreading more in taxes. Now, this is what the elites want, okay? The supply siders. Israel, Zion, Synagogue of Satan, and corporations equals 64. They're the ones, the Zionists, that believe in supply side economics. Supply sider also equals 164. But it is these Freemason Zionist bankers that control our economy, that rig the economy, that have amassed a ton of wealth to the top 1%'s hands over the last 40 years. The Zionist order equals 205. It's shill libertarian economics that advance the interests of the top 1%. Libertarian economics equals 205. And it is key. The economy is rigged for the top 1% and Dematria equals 205. The same elites, these libertarians want to repeal the estate tax equals 205. You need to limit the ability of some of these powerful families to accumulate even more economic and political power by have by hoarding a ton of money through generations. We cannot have that. Now, Mr. Trump master plan, all C9, Star David, the Zionist plan to have Mr. Trump stage the next stock market crash. These Masonic Zionist bankers believe in their fake economics. Notice that fake economics, Freemasonic Zionist bankers, Master Plan and All C9 and Star of David all equal 119, but also fake economics equals 56. The, the president who was behind trickle down economics, Ronald Reagan, his economic advisor, Mr. Friedman, and the people who worship trickle down economics, libertarians and supply cider, all of these equal 56. It is fake bunk economics for the top 1%. The corporations and the wealthy and the powerful know this. They're about accumulating as much wealth for themselves as they can at the expense of the working class. Now, President Donald Trump and trickle-down economics, both equal 95, is going to bring down the economy. 
Dow John Trump and stock market crash equal 185. Also, stock market crash and Trumponomics both equal the same value of 59 before the 59th quadrennial election in 2020. Now, supply side economics is economic propaganda centered around the tax cut, all these sharing the same value of 89, thus sharing a common relationship. Tax breaks for the rich in the Trump economy, 211, in the Trump recession, income inequality, corporate economy, divide and conquer. The Republicans, the elites, are going to divide and conquer the population by saying, oh, it's because you're too lazy. It has nothing to do with current economic conditions that are so hard to secede under today. Oh, it's okay for the billionaires to advance their political interests, but oh, no, not, not we the people. That's just socialism. Now, President Trump in Equal 72 and his economy is centered on high profits and the corp corporatocracy. And Donald Trump is the debt king. All these equaling 72, the 45th president's economy is going to only help big business. The tax cuts go the dividends. The debt's going to increase. All these equaling 45, Donald Trump, 45th president. The Donald Trump recession and high deficits equals 107. And the Simpsons did predict us to have a, 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 a budget problem in 2020. So once again, it is demand that creates jobs, not tax breaks. When the, we have disposable income to spend, the rich are going to invest in the economy as long as we have money to spend. The stock market performs the highest under uh, Democrats, you can see. The stock market does better under the Democrats on average. Their average gains under the stock market is 9.7% and other Republicans it's only 6.7%. For the Republicans, the bankers get rich every single time before a financial collapse and some of these corporate shills like Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, they're there so they're not going to prosecute Wall Street. So once again, trickle-down economics is bunk. Demand creates jobs. Don't fall for shill, libertarian economic policies and political positions that advance the top 1% at the expense of working America. When we have plenty of taxes to fund for roads and fund for services that satisfy the public, the fire departments, police departments, when we keep infrastructure up to date, then you're not going to have broken down roads and spoilages and uh, accidents in, in your supply chain. So when you have up to date roads and infrastructure and whatnot, that just facilitates movement of goods and services. You cannot have areas with uh, lack of education. Education is just as important for businesses today. You had to have high education, up-to-date infrastructure, and these tax cuts for the billionaires allow places like Kansas, after the Brown Beck experiment, to uh, uh, really reconsider uh, trickle-down economic policies. Uh, it has really devastated Kansas, and there are people over there, broken down roads, lack of funds for education. Trickle-down economics does not work, people. Middle up is the way to go.